Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Let's see what we have for tea. I went to bed a little bit later last night, so I am tired today. Oh. Boston Harbor. Black tea is from India and Sri Lanka. This is just what I need. Sounds like there's lots of caffeine. It's a full bodied blend. I'm gonna steep that right now. <laughs> My morning pages are done. I've done some work for the writing studio, so I feel like I'm checking things off the list, which is nice. I am going to taste the tea now. Mmm, it smells a bit like the Kenyan Tinderette, actually. Nice dark amber color. Cheers. Ding. <laughs> I don't know, is the ding noise annoying or is it is it good? <laughs> I can I can continue or I can stop. Anyway, let's have a sip of this. I'm feeling really tired today. Mmm. It's a lot more mellow than the Kenyan Tinderette, which is a completely different tea, but the scent reminded me of it. This is very easy drinking. I like this a lot. Arrow Garden, day 17. The time is now dome free. Lulu and hubby are gonna open the chocolates for day 13. Oh, oh she looked at it. <laughs> oh. And my friend bought us this panettone. Looks like it's the chocolate one. She bought us one last year too. I think last year was the orange the orange one, like the the regular one. I can't wait to try the chocolate one. Oh, we're gonna try this tomorrow. Today we have gingerbread. Bhatti. Coconut. What? I've always seen bhatti. Yay! I can't remember if we had this combination before. I know we've had both of these, but um I don't remember if they were together, but in any event, yummy yummy. It is time to open the Squish Advent Calendar. Hubby is having a nap on the couch, so it's going to be me. <laughs> He's really tired. He had an early shift today. So let us see what we have for day 13. is open. All my candies fell out. I'm still gonna eat them. Who am I kidding? <laughs> but these look like lips. I wonder if they're actually this hard or if it's just because they came out of the packaging. Vegan Kiss Kiss. Aww. Looks like it's just the heat seal that didn't take. So... Yeah, I'm still gonna eat them, it's totally fine. There are seven pieces in here and I'm wondering how many hubby has, whether I'm like missing any or if they're all in there, they just kind of like fell out. Here we go. Mm. Yummy. This one must be grape. It's really good. I like it. I am in such a foul mood today. I don't know why. Well, I guess I do know why. I haven't had a bad day. Today's been like very average, like an average work day. This morning I was in like a decent mood. I went to the grocery store and then on the way back, I noticed that I had lost my mask. This has never happened before in like the two years that we've been wearing masks consistently. I've never lost one. But for some reason today, I kept thinking I was gonna lose my mask and I did. So I was almost home and I couldn't find it. I know I had it in the grocery store 
and then I didn't have it when I was almost home. And it's just a silly mask. I have so many. Maybe I wouldn't have felt as bad if it was a mask that I didn't really like as much, but I do like this one. So I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. I really don't like losing things. And when I do, and I kind of know where it is, I will try to look for it. I don't think anyone would pick it up. And at this point, I may not even pick it up. I might just see where I lost it and be like, oh, there it is. That's where I lost it. Just for some like closure. <laughs> but yeah, that really, I don't know. That really irritated me this morning. Very silly. But um, it kind of like set the tone for the rest of the day. And then the rest of the day, I was just in like, kind of a foul mood, like very easily irritated, but I guess some days are like that, right, with moodiness and whatnot. I don't think I will eat the chocolates on camera tonight because um, I've had both of these already and they're both really good. I was pretty full today. I felt like um, eating things that were lighter, so I had a lot of fruit today. had um, some blueberries, some blackberries, a banana with yogurt. I also had some baby carrots with the um, guacamole. Hubby is off tomorrow, so he's going to take care of the meals, which is perfect because I'm actually quite busy at um, both my jobs, just getting ready for the holidays. So that'll be nice not to have to take care of dinner. I have a writing session tonight and I'm very much looking forward to it. I remember last Monday I was pretty irritable too, like just very like frustrated. And the writing session helped so much with that. So I'm wondering if um, it'll be the same thing tonight. Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas day 14. I feel a lot better after last night's writing session. That really did the trick. Feeling pretty well rested even though my pillow app said that my sleep quality was only around like 79%. I'm usually in the 80s. So according to the app, I didn't sleep as well as I normally do, but I'm feeling very well rested. I feel really good. I do need a little bit of caffeine though. So let's see what tea we have for day 14. We'll be opening this cute little bag today. Apple spice. Oh, this is a black tea. It is time to taste the tea. Cheers. It smells apple -y. I don't really smell the black tea. All I really smell are the apples. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon and cloves. All right, let's give it a try. I'm really thirsty. <clears throat> mm. This tastes very festive. It's a really nice blend because nothing is um, too overpowering. Hmm, I like it. Oh, it feels good. Feels good to have um, this tea today. I am wearing this um, furry vest because I don't want to put on a bra. I got the idea because it was sitting right there and I actually saw it in some of my clips when I was editing a previous vlogmas episode and I was like oh maybe I should just throw that on it actually matches my outfit really nicely so I've never thought of wearing this at home but I guess with um, the pandemic numbers going up I am gonna be staying home pretty consistently probably throughout the winter so I should wear some of my things that I would normally wear out at home and this is like the perfect candidate. It's actually giving me so much warmth. I was just um, thinking about how when your torso is warm, your entire body feels warmer. So this is really helping. I'm glad I threw this on today. I am retracing my steps out of curiosity as to whether I'll see my mask on the ground. I see a lot of things on the ground, but not my mask. I have a feeling maybe I dropped it outside the hotel and they're pretty good about like cleaning up the bits outside the entrance so it's probably gone it's okay I had nowhere to go today anyway so 
this at least will get me my steps in and I feel like I'm on a mission. Someone hung up this person's beret. That's so sweet. I hope she finds it. It is time to open the panettone. I am so excited. Last time hubby and I ate this really fast, so let's see if we can not eat it as fast this time. Oh my goodness. Yummy, yummy. This thing is huge. It's got hazelnuts on it. Mmm. Oh, look at it. Looks so yummy. Okay. Slice number one. We've got the second slice. Cheers. What was the other thing? I forgot what it was. It was orange and raisin. Like mm. fruit. Mmm, this one's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Thank you to my friend mm -hmm. for buying us this. It's so good. Such a nice treat. We're going to continue enjoying our panettone. Maybe we'll have another slice and then yeah. try to save some for tomorrow. I think last time we ate it in like 24 hours. Yeah? It was a bit too Pretty much. Good? Yeah. Oh I was so God. full after. This is Arrow Garden Day 18 update. The dill is getting really nice and bushy and the basil is growing really well as well the genovese basil is starting to look like the ones that you buy in the store it's hubby's cooking night tonight and he made pasta it looks so good he used the chorizo that he got for his last dinner but didn't use and there's lots of freshly grated parmesan it looks so yummy hubby didn't follow a recipe this time so he just kind of like whipped this up and he said he made a lot. I think he made the whole package of spaghettini. Did you? Yeah, he did. <laughs> and it's a big one. I think it's like almost a kilogram of pasta. Oh my god. But we can we can eat it tomorrow. Yeah. And that means I don't have to cook tomorrow, which is a bonus. It looks so yummy. And I was craving pasta. So yay. Hubby's going to open the chocolate now. Dinner was really good. I enjoyed it. Hubby said it wasn't what he imagined, but I liked it. Strawberry. Strawberry, and I don't remember what this is. Oh, it looks like it might be sea salt, it perhaps. It's time to open the Squish Advent Calendar. Hubby is not going to have his candy or chocolate yet because he is still very full from the pasta, and we had panettone for dessert. So, it's just going to be me. And hubby said yesterday his candies were not open. And I think he said he got... He said six or seven, because he didn't count. So I'm assuming it was seven, just like mine. Are these the magic... Oh, yeah! These are the mushrooms. Yummy. They are called magic mushrooms. I was like, are they called magic mushrooms? But they are. These are also really cute. Little pink and white mushrooms. Mm. The texture is very different from what I expected. They're kind of hard. Mm -hmm. They're chewy, but I thought they were softer. There are also seven in here. They're good. The texture is quite different from what I thought though. I just bit into the sea salt milk chocolate truffle, the one in the blue wrapper. And I'm not super confident I've tasted this on camera. So um, I'm just popping on to say it's really good. I'm enjoying it a lot. I like it. It's good. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Vlogmas day 15. We are pretty much halfway through Vlogmas at this point in time. This little guy fell over. I'll just straighten him up. The little baggie we're gonna open today. Peach apricot.
got? Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is a delicious black tea with a hint of sweet peaches and apricots. Black tea from Sri Lanka, papaya pieces, apricot pieces, blackberry leaves, lime leaves, calendula petals, sunflower petals, orange blossoms, and natural peach and apricot flavor. changed my top even though I'm just sitting in front of the computer sometimes when it's um dark and dreary out as it is today I think it's supposed to rain lightly throughout the day I like to change my top because I know I'm going to have trouble getting myself motivated to go out so that's what I did this morning. I feel at least like half dressed. I'm still in my loungewear pants, but having like an outside top on actually really helps with my motivation to go out or at least like it nudges me along a little bit. Before I head out though, I am going to taste the tea. This is the peach apricot black tea. It smells really good. Cheers. Mmm, I like this. The peach apricot flavor is, um, it's definitely there, but it's pretty subtle. It's not, like, overpowering. There's no kind of, like, artificial sweetener aftertaste or anything like that. It tastes very natural and fruity. I can taste the black tea as well. I made it outside. It's actually not bad. It's not really raining. Light, light, light drizzle. It's going to be a bit of a shorter walk. And then I'm going to head out again later because I want to get a little stocking stuffer for hubby. I am back and I still don't have enough steps, but um, I'm going to try to make it work. Maybe I'll pace around in the condo. I didn't find what I was looking for. There's one more place I could probably check, but maybe I'll just wait until tomorrow. I did, however, buy this dog bed for Lulu. I wonder if she'll like it. She doesn't really take to beds much. This one's supposed to be orthopedic, so it's got like little bumps on it. I don't know if she's gonna like it or not, but if the bumps aren't to her liking, I can put a blanket on top and that'll smooth it out. But the pillow that she lies on is pretty lumpy, so I'm assuming it might be okay. So let me cut away the tags and then we'll see what she thinks of it. She's already smelling the um, home sense bag. Hi, I think she knows I have something for her. So I removed the pillow that was beside me. I put the bed here and she's standing in it, but I think she's just curious about the scent. She came right to it though when I set the bed down. So maybe once she gets used to the scent, she will curl up. But for now, she is just sniffing it everywhere. It's so new and exciting. She's been to that home sense lots of times, so she probably recognizes the scent. Do you like it? You like your new bed? It's okay. Oh, okay, she stopped because the camera's on her. I'm gonna change and settle down for some, um, to do some work. And we shall see if uh, Lulu goes in the bed. She's like very distracted right now because the camera's on her. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I think L.U. L.U. likes it. Oops, I just woke her up, but she was sleeping so soundly. Oopsie, sorry, Lulu. Oh, you were enjoying your bed. I'm sorry. Okay. Waiting patiently for hubby to come home. Oh, gosh. 
Sorry, Lulu, I keep disturbing her. <gasps> okay. The dill and the Genovese basil are getting really huge. It's day 19 and I actually shifted the dill over so it wouldn't take the light away from the Thai basil. I think it's nearly time to take the cover off the curly parsley. It's time to open the chocolate. Hubby says he doesn't like today's tea. <laughs> Not my favorite, I said. Oh. <laughs> We're also going to be eating the panettone. We only ate half yesterday. Is that mango? Mango. Yay! Okay. Oh, this is the um, dark, salted dark chocolate. I was so confused yesterday. We are going to be drinking this with our panettone. This is the Haberdasher from Trainer Winery. Really liked this winery and everything that we purchased from there has been really good. So this is a red vermouth. It's sweet and it's got tons of like different botanicals and such in it. It's delicious. So we're just having a little bit of that with our panettone. The panettone was really yummy. I'm going to take a break before having my candy and chocolate. I'm going to put this stuff away. This is the stuff from my annual beauty haul and it's just been sitting in the living room for I guess three or four days now since I filmed the video. So it is time to find a place for all these things. I did go ahead and start using this Jack Black Night Mode Lip Treatment the day that I filmed the video. So I've been using this for, yeah, I guess three or four days now. My lips still do feel dry though. Like throughout the day, they feel really dry. But maybe this is making a difference because they have stopped peeling. So that's great. time to open the squish advent calendar hubby is having a little nap so once again it will be me solo <laughs> the early morning shifts really do a number on him but he only has two more days of work and then he's off for the holidays so that is very exciting all right day 15 day 15 here we are mittens Oh, are these the ice cubes? They are. I think these were the ones that were cooling and minty. The week before vacation is always pretty hectic. I'm going to be fully off from one of my paid jobs, but I've got a few time-sensitive things to do for the writing studio, so I'll need to pop on quickly at least once or twice next week to do those things, but it's okay because hubby and I are pretty much home the entire time. We've cancelled a lot of our plans. As I mentioned, we're not going to Niagara. We were planning to go see my in-laws as well, but we're not going to do that either. My immediate family, we always get together via Zoom now. We haven't done an in-person thing throughout the pandemic, so that's fine. We'll just do Zoom again. I cancelled a dental appointment. I'm not sure if we're going to keep the car at this point. We do want to get takeout from various places, but I don't know if it's worth it to pay like hundreds of dollars for a car when we're just getting takeout. We might as well just even order delivery. I kind of just want to stay home and relax. I really don't want to get sick over the holidays. It's so rare that I have time fully off that I don't want to spend it not feeling well like there are a lot of things i like to do when i'm at home and the thought of even getting a cold or the flu or a mild case of covid those things do not appeal to me at all i just don't want to be put out by any of that so i'd rather just stay safe and stay home okay let's see ice cubes are you minty hmm Oh, 
this one is also fruity, not minty, and not cooling. So I'm wondering if they changed that flavor completely. I do like it though. It's really soft and chewy, really good texture. I also wanted to mention when I thought about this today, this is probably the least I've wanted to travel in my adult life. I have almost no desire to travel. Every once in a while I'm like, oh, it would be nice to go back to Japan. It was like fun, so much like good food. And I look back fondly on our travels. I'm really glad we traveled a lot when we were very into it. But right now I have no desire to travel. Just all of the hassle that's around it, being in the airport, getting tested, waiting in lines. I just like none of that appeals to me. And hubby was actually talking about, I guess he watched a video or saw something on Bhutan and he was saying he wishes he could travel but like not have to do flying or any of that. So like maybe we should do virtual travel. And so I was like, yeah, let's do that. Let's like pick a day or like a couple days where we pick a place and we watch like YouTube videos on it, we do research on it. I said I could read to him like things I find on the internet because one thing we used to do that he didn't love but I really enjoyed, we would do like these walking tours where I would print out a self-guided walking tour. We'd stop at each of the landmarks and I'd just like read to him the facts about the landmarks. So I'm like, oh, I could do that. I could just like find an article and read it to you. It's not like real traveling. You're not immersed in it, but it might be fun. And I was thinking we could order food from, because there's like so much food on offer in Toronto, like so many different types of cuisine. I'm sure we could find, well, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but maybe we could find some food from Bhutan or we could look up recipes and try to make it ourselves. So there are different ways to incorporate like tastes of other places without actually going to the places, which is kind of appealing. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this state of like, I really don't wanna travel, it's such a hustle, but I'm kind of waiting for the day where hubby and I both decide we don't wanna travel anymore. And then I'm gonna get us a rabbit. Oh gosh, I miss truffles so much. I'm always looking at rabbits online, but it's a lot of work to care for a rabbit. And if we do have plans to travel, like it's just so much work to bring all of their stuff over to someone who's like rabbit savvy. We have a friend who took care of truffle, but it's just like, it's still a lot of hassle because he had so many things that we had to bring. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, that's for another day. There's still a chance that we might wanna travel in the future, so I'm not ready to, to get another bunny just yet. But it's definitely on my mind. All right, I am going to end off the vlog here. I'm going to finish my candy. I've already had these two chocolates on camera, so I'll just enjoy them after I say goodbye. I will see you all tomorrow for day 16 of Vlogmas. Good night.